chat. We all no know her. You love her. I love her. It's our favorite horse. Rima even star. Abducted and trafficked VTuber used as a human ashtray for six months. No, this is a very intriguing title. I actually don't know who this VTuber is. Hi, YouTube. Hi, chat. Let's get into it. A Chinese VTuber by the name of Porine has uploaded her first video in roughly six months. Her absence, the result of her being a victim of human no. an experience she shared in her most recent video upload. Maybe I shouldn't have said the title name out loud if the, <laughs> that word is already censored. <sighs> please don't d demonetize me, YouTube, please! Going to Billy Billy. And then hearing someone call out to her. Turning, some people came up to her saying, Your internet IP was hacked. We are police and you must come with us to make a statement. And before she could do anything, they the took fuck? her away in a van. So after what? that, they drove to a far away village. I don't even know where it is. And I was sold to a mid-age auntie. That Wait, auntie always to ordered be fair, me about. To be fair, to be fair. I feel like some fucking memories. Like there are some memories in regards of this in my brain. Like. I, I, I remember something about this. She beats me or scolds like, me if I didn't do well. And that auntie happens to smoke. It's okay if she smokes. The problem is that she doesn't have an ashtray. So she would put her cigarettes out on my own arm. They rescued me. Maybe it's a silver lining. So I lived in that place for six months without any contacts with the world. Have some minor injuries, and I have no idea what happened these days. I I'm am back on streaming. I am still game. optimistic. It doesn't bother me. Baylin Porin was a small Chinese corpo VTuber who made her entry on the scene as part of the first generation of a brand new agency called Mofu App. As was customary back then, she released an introduction video on September 24th, 2021. Four days later, a music video that showcased her remarkable singing skills was released. Warren then officially debuted on Billy Billy on October 4th. As much efforts as she put in her videos and stream, she didn't get much traction though. But being a VTuber was her dream, and so she persevered. But on November 1st, 2021, Balin Boren posted her last message before suspending her activities and disappearing for several months. People started to question, where is Balin? But the agency she belonged to, Mofu F, remained strangely silent on the matter and did not make any kind of official statement regarding her activities for nearly half a year. No one hears a single word from Bai Lin for about six months. I wonder if the company was like partially like at fault here, like holy shit. But on May 4th of the next year, things change. Bailin Boren suddenly reappears. She makes a community post on Billy Billy announcing her return to streaming and resumes her activity as if nothing happened. She updates her Billy Billy feed and conducts live streams on Billy Billy for about three days. But of course, the questions didn't die down. Her fans kept on pressing her for answers until she realized she wouldn't be able to ignore this any longer. And so on May 21st of 2022, at 5.05 p.m., she decided to drop a video where she explains where she's been this whole time. And what she revealed in that video was something no one could have expected. In that video, Boren reveals the harrowing incidents she went through. It can also be that they couldn't have said anything to not alert her kidnappers. That is true. That is true. You're right on this. You're right on this. Uh. Gonna go piss out? Okay. Too hungover. <laughs> alright, alright. And then she tearfully explains how she got kidnapped and no. and ruthlessly suffered abuse after being sold to a middle-aged woman. A woman whom she refers to as auntie who forced her to do some manual work and used her to put out cigarettes on her arm. Literal abuse. Mm, 
，然后还没有等睡萌怀疑，他们就直接咔嘣一下把睡萌拉进了面包车。睡萌当时还是有手机的，然后睡萌当时也没有怀疑，因为是警察也不太好怀疑嘛。然后，然后就被拉进面包车。然后当时睡萌还发信息给朋友说：“我现在警车上，回去回去再给你做生日祝福。” We're recording for your birthday, Flurry Tune. 然后，呃，这就是睡萌的最后。That's my last message to the outside world. They drove me to somewhere I didn't know. That was sold to middle-aged lady. Middle-aged lady. Then he took it. 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 Then 然后那个阿姨还抽烟，她抽烟，她抽烟，她就算了，她连烟烟灰缸她都不舍得买，她她把什么的手臂上面烟，嗯。And then she explains how she has been cut off from the world during her abduction and how she escaped the situation. Yeah, like how? 就是，虽然出去的很少吧，但是她会出去。就 like. Is this something that can just happen really nilly? Like what? Does this happen just like that in China? Like oh, no way, right? Like no way, this just happens really nilly, right? Right? Is found a date point, time, but, um, still didn't succeed. 只能说还是没有逃成功。Seven's everywhere。就是本来本来是我们都以为、嗯、啊，自己的一辈子就要在那里过呀。但是但是没想到，就差不多半年之后，就是现在睡梦回来，差不多这个时间，嗯，被警察救出来了。嗯，就说是看着很像失踪人员名单上的一个某个人。然后，然后又给救回来了。虽然，这算是什么呢？这算是不幸中的万幸。嗯。Around the time this video drops, another shocking news story of A-level wanted list of six human traffickers starts going around. Three of them have already been arrested, and the other three are still on the run. Which ends up giving a lot of weight to Boren's story, and even though she didn't provide any evidence in her video, people rallied behind her in support of the traumatic event she went through. During that time, her popularity skyrocketed, making her the most popular VTuber on Billy Billy, surpassing even Vox Akuma. The video's popularity soared rapidly, with views reaching 800,000 in a short period. In a matter of days, her follower count surged from less than 1,000 subscribers to an impressive 25,000. After the video was released, most netizens expressed sympathy for Balin's misfortune, offering comfort and consolation in the comment section of her post. However, the next day, netizens start to harbor doubts. After all, you know what makes this really so uh, sus to me is that the way they um. Like, I wonder if this was random. Like, the way they, like, kind of, like, got her attention was by saying your home network's IP has been, like, leaked. Like, I wonder if someone actually doxed her and sold her data out to those human traffickers. I still don't know if I'm supposed to say that word or not, man. I really hope I'm fine. <laughs> While Balin had not provided any evidence to her crazy story and many started to question the claim that Balin's born six month absence from broadcasting was actually due to her being no. On May 21st, Billy Billy's ghost animal VTuber from the Novo channel released a video directly refuting Bailin Porin, claiming that her self-proclaimed trapping no. was a complete lie. After the video's release, Novo channel raised two more points of suspicion. 
first mm -hmm. and some posts from March were liked and this was supposed to be in the period where she was kidnapped but this could also be due to them being pinned posts. Secondly, how could someone who claimed to have been cut off from the outside world for half a year be so familiar with the winter flower meme, which only became popular in February and March of this year? And so for context, the winter flower meme what? that popped off in February to March is from a song that became highly popular. And Balin had came back and made a joke referring to that tweet on her very first return stream. So if Balin truly did not have access to the internet, how did she know about that meme? Following this, Novo Channel was criticized and reported by Balin's fans and some passerby. This video sparked a massive internet conflict and divided the fanbase between the skeptics and the believers. The ones who mistrusted her were victim blaming after this girl had went to very traumatic events and the believers were easily convinced individuals who blindly believed anything. Soon after though, mm. the Novo channel claimed that the video was deleted by Billy Billy and the channels goes completely silent. However, the automatic reply message left on their Billy Billy account was thought provoking. I cannot provide screenshots of the chat history at this time. If necessary, please try contacting me again for a manual response. She was not traumatic, no. but was sent to a cult-like organization similar to Yuzang Academy. The suicide attempt shown in the video is staged, but it is true that she was completely isolated from the outside world for six months. The blurry QQ chat records are authentic. The timestamps embedded in QQ chat history cannot be fabricated with Photoshop. My questioning of her story is valid, but her actual experience is indeed distressing and she should mm. not be subjected to further pressure. Please remain calm and objective and wait for the release of a new video with further information. Neither okay. side should be driven by a self-righteous sense of justice. Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. lot to unpack here, but basically Yuzang Academy is a Chinese school that faced allegations of using cruel and inhumane methods to cure internet addiction in oh. teenagers. Former students that went there have reported being beaten with iron rulers with Jesus Christ, to beat internet addiction out, what? You know what this reminds me of? Of those uh, Christian gay camps, you know? That's what the shit reminds me of. With steel cables and locked naked in steel windowless cables. cells. Break. Way worse though. Way, way, way Extended worse though. Periods. The camp charges a hefty fee and targets parents desperate to address their children's internet addiction. The academy was shut down in 2017 after several reports of abuse and detention, and the perpetrators got sentenced for a meager two years in prison with a five-year ban from the education sector. So what the Novo channel was alleging is that Porin was sent to a similar academy to Yuzang Academy, which would explain her loss of internet access and abuse allegations. Oh, maybe she was too ashamed that she was actually there? And instead, like, made up another story of it, maybe like that. But Something not like that, that she was technically abducted. To add another layer to this, a screenshot of a private chat purportedly with Bailin Porin herself had gone viral on Billy Billy. It details a conversation between Bailin and one of her friends. I was abused by my parents. It's like a school similar to a juvenile detention center. Six months of mental torment. I don't want to go back. Reply on D site. She attempts to lighten the mood with a laugh. The other question that was raised is why did the kidnappers not take her phone away immediately? They let her send a single text message according to the retelling of her story. That doesn't really make sense. And another point of contention that netizens raised is that the quote unquote auntie what I'm thinking is that she um, sent the message while, like, going into the car, you know? That she, like, literally just texted that. And that the uh, people didn't want to, like, have suspicion rise on them. Something like that, maybe? The show so she wouldn't, like, make a scene right in front of public or something? she was sold to That's my was guess. described as a really stingy woman who wouldn't even bother to purchase an ashtray but she decided to splurge on purchasing what is essentially a human no. slash mate in response 
So I think that was just the um I I I, I can't remember the name for the love of me. Uh I think that was just the VTubers um like view on it. Like if like this isn't about the ashtray, like the ashtray is not about her being too greedy to buy an ashtray. If she really didn't care where she put it out, she would just like put it out anywhere. This isn't about greed. Yeah, sorry, my brain. Literally brain brain fought right there. Like, she wasn't too greedy and just put it out on her arm. She literally put it out on her arm to abuse her. Not because of greed. Obviously. It was just her I, I think that was just her mental image trying to cope with it. That's why she explained it that way. Is my guess. As to the netizens' doubts, Mofo F, her agency, started heavily moderating theirs and Balin's account. Any comments in the comment section Balin? that questioned the authenticity Balin? of Balin's trafficking Balin. or even demanded a thorough investigation of the matter were promptly deleted. Finally, on May 22nd, Mofu F decides to drop a statement to clarify the matter. Bailin's last offline period was from October 27, 2021 to May 4th, 2022, when she resumed online activity. After discussions with Bailin, we decided to publicly clarify the reasons for her absence. On May 21st, we entrusted Bailin to explain the situation. Due to the unexpected surge in online discussion, in the agency's initial lack of preparation, we sincerely apologize to everyone for any concerns caused by this incident. We are deeply mm -hmm. grateful for everyone's concern for Bai Lin and other parties involved. Considering the mental health of those involved, we have decided to take a temporary break. Bai Lin is a kind and passionate girl, which is why she returned to the VTuber industry. We are very grateful for everyone's support for Bai Lin and hope that everyone will not dwell on this matter. Our entire team sincerely hopes that Bailin can bring her dreams to life soon. But the statement okay. had a problem. Her agency claimed she was absent from October 27th to May 4th. But if you look at Bailin's Boren's post, she posted on September 1st, 2021, which is after the supposed last contact with her agency. So the timelines didn't add up. It actually caused even more speculations. Mm and more outrage. Mm. Internet sleuths started asking questions, rats okay. started forming, and the agency quickly took down the post. After Bailin released a video mm. on May 21st, the incident Someone's of lying, the that's for virtual sure. streamer being no. attracted media attention, particularly from Hong Kong and Taiwan media outlets at first. And then maybe slowly, the it network, became yeah. a matter of maybe, national maybe. news. On May but 23rd I, and May... I would hope not. I would hope that a big company, when releasing a statement, wouldn't get the date wrong, you know? Bordery, thanks for the follow. 25th, Yahoo Taiwan and Hong Kong's Oriental Daily News respectively reported on the incident, raising public awareness of human trafficking no. in China, which had become a hot topic at the time. Now, hmm. it would be an understatement okay. to say that Taiwan and China have had political tensions and baggage in the past. And so it's no surprise yeah. to find these articles written from a highly critical lens. Specifically, okay, fair, fair, fair. this event took place at a critical juncture amidst the ongoing discussions about no. hysteria in China. And this is reflected in this Chinese article that showcases diverse reactions from netizens, ranging from complete belief in her story to skepticism and surprise that worse did not occur to her. To provide some context regarding why King no. was a prominent issue in China and why yeah, the that's country what I'm was wondering. perceived as dangerous, let me share two stories that received national attention during that time. The first one was the Xuzu chained woman incident, which was also a case of human trafficking, no. but the also a what? false imprisonment, S no. and severe mistreatment. This story oh. gained attention on January 22nd after a video of a woman chained to a wall and who had. Bro. Bro. What the? given birth to eight children when what? viral in China. Hey! 
it. Bro, what? Sparking a significant public outcry. Due to strict political control and censorship media in China, many of the country's top investigators had left and netizens who demanded answers had to dig up into the story themselves. Some were even arrested during their investigation. But what really had a lasting impact into the audience's skepticism from law enforcement services was when local authorities... Oops. Fuck's sake, I can't seriously get all that with such silly censoring. What? ...attempted... The Chinese breeding slaves, yeah, that happens there. Fucking Christ. ...to cover up the human no. claims on January 28th by saying that the woman had actually been married to a local man and was just mentally ill. They basically tried to dismiss the... Right. That's why she's chained up. <laughs> sure. Yes. However, mountain pressure sure. forced them to conduct a second investigation, which led to several incarcerations, including her alleged husband. The story really put a limelight on the issues of human no. king of rural women and children in China, and this topic was at the center of discussion around that time. It also made it so people mainly distrusted what was presented to them and felt like authorities could not be trusted to tell them the truth. Secondly, a story of a V2... I'm just... Bro. I, 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 I just needed to moment and think there for like... How fucking cooked it is on China, man. That is so fucking bad. Wow. I actually had no idea any of this is going on over there. Like... Right now, I feel like so fucking privileged to be actually living in a first world country that doesn't have that kind of censorship and, well, the government. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm in awe. Like, I'm shook. Uber exploitation faced public scrutiny around May 10. The most popular VTuber idol group in China, ASOL, experienced a sudden departure of a group member named Carol, saddening viewers. However, as netizens slowly learned the truth, this sadness turned into widespread outrage as they learned more about the whole story when Carol started oh, to no. post on his personal account about workplace abuse and bullying from management. They allegedly weren't even paid 1% of their revenue. Not even 1%. 10 cents for each of their $20 subscriptions. Bro, what? What even is the point then? What's the fucking point? But a mere 0.5% of their subscription base. That's insane. If you guys want to know more about the story, let me know in the comments below, and I will probably release a video about it in the next few weeks. Anyway, the whole point of all of this is to showcase that VTubers very rarely made the news in China. But the combination of the ASL scandal and the chained woman human no. cover-up controversy made it so Violin's story was propelled to the forefront of national news, attaining unprecedented prominence and resonating far beyond the initial scope anyone would have anticipated. So now that the story is getting foreign attention, China also wants to look into it. After all, this is putting a negative light on both VTubers and the country itself. So police yeah. launched their own investigation. Okay. And as the story Let's gains go. traction day by day, it gets put under intense scrutiny. But mostly netizens start to question why are VTuber agencies so bad? Why do so many awful things happen to VTubers? As the rare occasions they heard about virtual idols were these two stories. More questions and theories arise. 
people start pointing out that the agency actually never made an announcement when Bailin disappeared. In fact, they had ignored it, and they didn't seem worried at all until she came back. It was only then. I mean, again, it might have been to, like, not alert any kidnappers or some shit, you know? ...that they finally decided to post an announcement. That was pretty suspicious. Another theory that surfaced around the time was that the quote-unquote auntie was just a transit point because of the quote-unquote stock pressure that happened at the time, either due to COVID lockdown or because of police investigating human trafficking. No. But on May 31st, 2022, around 8 p.m., things were going to drastically change. Mofu F's okay. account posted an update stating that after an investigation by them and the police, it was confirmed that Bailin's porn's claim of being tricked no. was fabricated and they issued oh. a clarification regarding the false information. On May 21st, oh. 2022, the account Bailin Porin released a video titled about my disappearance for half a year and being trapped. No. After police verification, the content of the video is untrue. This has occupied public resources and brought negative social impact. We sincerely apologize. They might have also been pressured into making a statement like this. Just to be fair, just to be fair, knowing China, they might have been pressured to make a statement like this. That same day, a popular Billy Billy police influencer by the name of Jiangnin's granny, who usually waits in on different <coughs> Sorry. topics involving police investigations, as he's also part of the Nanjing police, posted on Weibo as an insider, revealing more info on the investigation. He reposted the update, confirming the police investigation was indeed true, and added, No need to overthink this. You don't have to worry about whether it's true or not. The police investigated immediately and even provided assistance. It was quite a hassle, involving many different locations. In the end, there was no such case. As for other matters, let's leave it at that. Tomorrow is Children's Day. Everyone enjoy the holiday and let's end this here. At the end of the statement, when users commented, Will there be any arrests? Shall we expect any official announcement? Jianning Granny's reply was mysterious. He said, Please really consider what my last sentence means. He was indeed hinting that Porin uh -huh. was a minor. That statement attracted more than 3,000 comments in just one day. This also explains why he couldn't comment further on the case and why he didn't say anything about Balin facing charges. It also kind of corroborates Wait. the whole juvenile school theory. Speculations swirl oh. even further with these new revelations. But in China, you are allowed to hire minors to work in VTubing agency. Yeah, I was about to say, how was she working then? Oh my god! She may have been a minor! Jesus! As long as they're 16 years old. But in Porin's introduction video, she introduces herself as a 15-year-old character. Was she okay. Is she really 15 or just canically 15? We don't really know. But if that was the case, people now wondered if it was actually the agency who had hidden her away for half a year until she did turn 16 so she could resume her broadcasting activities. Valen's Porin's Billy Billy account was then permanently banned by Billy Billy, and Porn's video detailing her no. being published on May 21st was promptly deleted. And that was the fall of the first domino, setting up a chain reaction that would bring the end of Porn's rise in popularity. On June 1st, 2022, Billy Billy's official account issued a notice informing the public of Bailin's misconduct in fabricating her experience to gain traffic. They also announced the launch of a platform-wide investigation into MCNs, which is what most VTuber agencies are constituted of. And with a statement that rang so strangely similar as her agency's corrective statement, with words such as disrupting the normal order of the community and negative social impact, 
they strongly condemned her actions. Recently, the UP Porin fabricated a story about being trapped no. in a video, which caused widespread concern among users and a great deal of social discussion. On May 31st, her affiliated MCN agency confirmed through other channels that the UP had fabricated the story and used deceptive methods to gain traffic, violating the basic principle of authenticity for UPs, disrupting the normal order of the community, and causing serious negative social impact. According to community rules, we have permanently banned her account. We will also launch a platform-wide investigation into MCN agencies regarding issues of false content. Once any I wanna say it's crazy that that could get her banned over there. Well, YouTube could never. On one hand, like, completely, like, false spread information, like, fucking saying that historical events couldn't, like, that historical events are faked. And, like, trying to disprove that. Stuff like that, I believe, can get removed from YouTube. Although there's still that much shit out there. Um... <clears throat> So that they actually just like said, nope, you're getting banned out of here. That's crazy. And again, it might have been Shana itself being pressuring them into banning her. <laughs> Sorry, Kitsu, but I think I'll leave these type of videos just make me angry because there's nothing I can do to help these people. I mean... That's fair. If you want to leave, that's fair. Like, no worries. You can come back in a bit. We're gonna watch some more wholesome videos after. I don't know what to believe here now. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm like really in between two. Like, right now, to me, it's like... Anything could be true. Anything could be true. Anything. If violations are found, we will take actions and impose corresponding penalties. Furthermore, the community will continue to crack down on related content, including fabricating stories, spreading rumors, and malicious hype. We will gather and investigate related content and permanently ban accounts that create and spread unverifiable information. The community will also participate in and support relevant investigations by law enforcement agencies to help maintain order and healthy environment within the community. Following the incident, apart from the announcement issued on May 31st, her agency remained silent. The planned recruitment of new virtual livers has been halted. Among its VTubers, beside Balin Poren, who was now permanently banned, and Sakura Kano, who had previously announced a long-term hiatus due to internal disagreements, the livestreaming activities of the other two VTubers within the agencies have also been completely suspended, without mm. any notice. Western content creators who had been following the story also reported on the matter, but of course, after the recent events that had transpired in China, they showed a little bit more skepticism towards the CCP reports. Which is fair, and that's where the Western coverage of the story pretty much ends. But things okay. don't stop from escalating in Asia. After the video was proven to be fabricated on June 1st, Phoenix News Media's video department reported the incident on its official Weibo account as well. One segment in particular caused another set of controversy amongst the communities. It said, It is reported that the VTuber owner used a female voice in the video. The video is 5 minutes and 53 seconds long. Because of the wording of okay. the article claiming she was using a female voice, this caused a whole new set of allegations against Sporin. Like, wh what? Through a game of telephone, multiple news articles also started reporting on this topic, and the story focus changed. Now, it was not only that she faked her kidnapping, but she also faked being a woman. Her aunties yeah, like, went what? even harder at her. They wanted to see her punished. This article states, the kind of man pretending to be a woman drama is undoubtedly more interesting than a scam related to human No. As a result, another group of netizens were attracted to pay attention to this matter. After that, there was also a debate on gender issues in the comment section of Weibo, which is common. Eventually, an article sets the record straight. According to- uh, Bruh! 
This is all over the place, bro. I can't. What what is happening? Weibo users, Oren is indeed a woman. Thanks Even for the a follow. so-called voice Arch changer Ninja. is just a common way for VTubers to make their voice sounds more appealing during live broadcast, similar to turning on the beauty filter when taking photos. Throughout this whole saga, Oren's okay, gender okay. had changed several times from female to male and then from male back to female. This one incident had given rise to countless opposing views and conflicts between different camps. As the story was initially centered around human trafficking, no. the narrative unexpectedly transformed into a tale of deception, gossip, and lies. Something that brought a whole new wave of onlookers to join the discussion, for better or for worse. Amidst the backlash of people calling out for Balin to get punished for fabricating lies, a lawyer speaks out on the matter and told reporters that since the account fabricated false content, violated the platform regulations and more, the platform should strengthen the management and maintain the atmosphere and environment of the platform. Also in the case of spreading rumors intentionally disturbing public order, the public security organs may impose on the perpetrator a detention of 5 days or more than 10 days and may also okay. impose a fine of up to 500 yuan. If the circumstances are less serious, the perpetrator shall be sentenced to less than 5 days of detention or a fine up to 500 yuan. By the end of this okay. whole controversy, there was more support to have foreign ban than concern towards kid no. attempts. To give you a scope of the amplitude of this, as of July 10th, 2022, the related hashtag UP disappears for half a year and reveals being trapped no. and abused had 8.36 million views, and the oh, hashtag Jesus. Billy Billy permanently bans UP for fabricating no. experience had 10.56 million views. People and priorities. There. In the end, Boren's claims caused some serious damage. According to the- Oh yeah, people? I don't know what it is with humans, but we find it just more interesting when people are being exposed for making shit up. I don't know what, what's uh, with us. Is it our sense for justification that we want to see other people burn? What is it with us, man? Humans love drama? But isn't her getting, you know, kidnapped and all that shit also bad? Okay, but both stories are negative. Both stories are negative. You know? Both of these stories are negative. You like to know everything that is going on? Mm -hmm. mm -mm, no. In views, people I and priorities. In the end, Boren's claims caused some serious damage. According to this article, on 1883, her lies caused the arrest of her agency owner. After she was released, she lied to the head of the society and said she was abducted. No. The identity information she provided was also false. She provided an identity of a college student, but in fact, she was underage. In 2001, oh. the head of the oh. association was persuaded to help produce and release the video of the alleged no. king. Because the oh, video no. received so many views, someone called the police, causing the group leader and the person in charge of making the video to be arrested. The society leader is still in custody. The police also asked the society leader to take down the video today. My friend deleted it. The family of the head of the association is also looking for a new lawyer to prepare for a lawsuit. This matter has already happened. Serious consequences have occurred. It is really hard to see many people blaming the community for being irresponsible. The club tried to contact her during the half year she was out of touch, but they couldn't get through so they thought she was dead. The police are still handling this matter and the final result will definitely be reported by the police. Yes, but since it is not an important case, it may take quite some time. But today, Boren and Mofu F agency are gone and disappeared. 
Their tenure was short and they were not able to survive the disastrous barrage of negative scrutiny this controversy had brought them. After all, the whole country was upset at them for disrupting public order and blamed them for causing significant social Whoa, not the public order! No, don't disrupt the public order, that's what's important! Impact. Obviously, so foreign actors have had their own incentive oh, to criticize stupid. China and cast suspicions on her authorities. So there's still a large amount of doubt around the matter outside of the country. But who is really telling the truth? Is this just another cover-up story? Or did Boren really lie about her abduction? We may never know, but what is certain yeah. is that there were several details in her story that did not add up. Did she do it for views? It was the biggest growth she's ever had after all in her career, but it also got the opposite result with getting her channel terminated. Her account is now suspended, but weirdly enough it's still there, available to be viewed. Like a snapshot, stuck in time. In the end, this is just the story of another girl who was trusted into the spotlight and just as quickly, immediately forgotten. Probably if you enjoyed this well. video, yeah. don't forget to give a like, a comment, and subscribe. And make sure to head on to uumarket.com for my 2.0 merch drop. Are you a bug Yo! person or a booba person? Either way, we got you covered at Uwu Market. Get a free Ayo! jet bag with code bot. We also have Ayo! a stands, blankets, and water bottles. The promo ends on September 1st at midnight, so make sure to not miss out. Plop on over to Uwu Market to get your sweet products. Until next time. The same website as yours? Yeah, same website as mine. Holy shit. Go back, go back! Go back! No. What a plot twist, yeah. Holy shit. Holy, holy shit, Cholo. Very yeah, cute, baby. Usually, I do not end up releasing re reactions to Rima's, Rima's videos. Usually. So we will see if this goes live. Usually, they get demonetized. And usually, like not usually, but sometimes I don't have too much to add. So we will see. We will see what happens with this one. Um, if this goes out, thanks for watching YouTube.